Kyle Prolux here, and in today's video, we are going to be addressing a concern from a couple customers, and they're inquiring about how to replace the front flap on a Prolux CV12000 central vacuum. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly replace it. First things first, we need to separate the vacuum from the dirt bin, and to do so, there is a latch on both sides. Unlatch those, and then you can remove the vacuum from the dirt bin. Once you got the dirt bin removed, go ahead and lay the central vac on its back and we need to remove the inner cloth filter and there's going to be a red pull tab on each side. Just grab one of those and slowly pull it out. Now that we have the inner cloth bag removed, we're going to address actual flap now. This flap is connected to this rubber grommet and that rubber grommet goes through the central vac and then there's this elbow piece connected. You can just replace the flap but it gets kind of difficult with the spring and on the back end you have to break some plastic off and then sometimes the flap won't stay secure. So it's best to remove this whole piece. And to do that, you're going to need a flathead and some sort of pick. This elbow piece is just secured to this rubber grommet by some glue. So you're gonna get your pick and you're just gonna try to pick some of this glue apart. And then once you kind of pick it apart, get your flathead in there and start to try to separate the two pieces. Just work your way around. And then you can kind of, once you start working on it, you can hear the glue starting to separate. Okay, so here is that elbow piece. As you can see, there is dry glue on top so it's best to take it to like a wire wheel or get a razor blade and try to scrape most of it off and then you can simply just grab the front flap and remove it there might be some glue to attach it to but here is the front flap piece so when you need to replace the front flap email us at service at prolixcleaners.com and we will just send you this whole component right here this part is reusable, but like I mentioned, just clean some of this glue off, whether that's a razor blade or a wire wheel. And then again, we will send you this whole component. I'm going to be reusing this one because it's still good. What we want to do is clean all the glue off and then go get yourself some silicone, super glue, liquid nails. And you're just going to put a bead around this ring and then kind of where the glue was on the flap component. So I'm using RTV silicone sealant. You can use what you have. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna just rub it around. So here's what my masterpiece looks like. Yours might be cleaner, yours might be messier. But now that we got some silicone sealant on the elbow and the flap, we're gonna reconnect it to the rubber grommet at the front of the central vec. Okay, so we're gonna put the flap in first and make sure the P is facing the right way and that the flap opens up. So we're gonna slide that in. Push it down. And now we're gonna connect the elbow piece and the elbow piece is going to be facing the left side. So we're gonna slide that in. And then we're going to put some pressure on it. And then there is some sealant kind of squishing out. So I'm just gonna kind of clean that up a bit. Make a good seal around the rubber grommet and the elbow piece. Okay, well, I don't know how long to let this sit, so I'm just going to give it 30 minutes to let it dry, and then we'll come back and check it out. 
All right, so it's been about 20, 25 minutes and everything is snug. So now that we have the front flap replaced and we reinstalled the 90 degree elbow, we're gonna put in the cloth filter. Best way to replace a cloth filter is kind of grab it and bend it. And just get one of the sides in the grooves. Slowly set it back into place. Then get your dirt bin. Set the motor part back on. Latch your dirt bin to the motor <coughs> compartment and you're done. And then go ahead and hang it back up on your wall. That's going to be it for today's video. hope you guys found it helpful. If you guys have any questions, you can leave a comment down in the comment section below or send us an email at service at ProluxCleaners.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Kyle Prolux, and I'll see you in the next one.